Because of my toxic relationship with my daughter Stephanie and all of her drama, I have lost all of my personal relationships. You're my only family member. You're the person that I'm supposed to then count on when I get older in life. I'm going to be in a nursing home, alone, in bed, in a diaper, in a bed with bed sores, dying by myself because you can't get your together. See what I mean? I've lost all of my friends because of all the drama. When I think about this, I feel sad, angry, hopeless at times that it's just ruined everything and it's taken over everything in my life. I just want this to stop. Well, Michelle admits that she and her daughter Stephanie don't know how to behave as a healthy mother and daughter. And she says it's due to Stephanie's drinking. Now, Look. But can we talk about why I drink? Like, can we get to the root of why I drink? But didn't you tell us why you drink? I drink because of the things Put that... Put the list back up. I'm not just some alcoholic that chooses to drink every day. I don't want to be that person. Well, that's, you are an alcoholic that chooses to drink every day. But I don't choose to do it. I don't want to do it. But you don't try to stop, Stephanie. I'm but sober for five days now, which is... Great. Stephanie, you've been sober okay. for three months. Okay. No, look. No, no. And I no, am no. happy to no, be no. sober for no, five no. days. No, don't. Didn't you tell us why, you, you, in this list of why you drink? Yeah, but there's so much more to it than that. Why didn't you tell us? Well, I wasn't, I didn't know I had a chance to. <laughs> no, no, that's not true. We interviewed you open-ended, and you told us know, everything you wanted I'm, to tell us. I'm saying, us. like, the, those are just, you just, those are tell just us again? bullet points. There's so much more detail to it. Well, yes, you're right. These are bullet points. I, I know all the history under each bullet point. D do you okay. think I don't know? No, I know that you know. Okay, then why do you want to tell me again? I, I, I don't want to tell you again. I just, I, I just want to emphasize that I don't choose this life. Joining us on Polycom is uh, Michelle's ex-boyfriend and current roommate. It's interesting, ex-boyfriend but current roommate, Sandy, who says their relationship was ruined due to Stephanie's behavior. Sandy, what, you, what did you want to add to the conversation here? Thank you for being here, well, by the way. Oh, thank you, Dr. Phil. Welcome to my world, Dr. Phil. As you can see what it would be like being between these two. Um, I care extremely for Stephanie. I feel like she's like a stepdaughter to me. Uh, Michelle and I met six years ago. We had a very good relationship for about a year and a half, and then all the drama started. Uh, Stephanie has just basically ruined our, 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 our life, our, our romance. And hopefully, if there is a positive result of of this, they can both end up with a with a great life ahead of them. They love each other tremendously, Doctor Phil. Believe me when I tell you, I see the tears on a constant basis from both of them. They love each other. They need each other. They only have each other, Doctor Phil. But I've seen what alcoholism can do to a family. Well, I appreciate your input because you're looking at it from the inside. And that gives us a point of view that we would not have otherwise. So Sandy, thank you for your point of view.